Hare Krishna everyone. Welcome to Shikshashtakam series part 7. So in Krishna consciousness, in devotional process, there are two aspects. There is sadhana and there, are, there is sadhya. Now sadhya is the goal, the perfection in Krishna consciousness. What is it that we are trying to achieve? And sadhana is the means, the process to achieve the sadhya. So until now, in the first five verses of Sikshashtakam, Mahaprabhu has elaborated on the sadhana, the process, the chanting of the holy names of Krishna. But now in verses 6, 7 and 8, he is going to talk about the sadhya. What is the perfection of chanting? In 6 and 7, we will be talking about bhava bhakti, which is the penultimate stage of perfection of chanting. And in the 8th verse, we will discuss Prema Bhakti, which is the ultimate perfection of chanting. And specifically in this video, let's focus on verses 6 and 7. Nayanam galada shrudharaya, vadanam gadgada ruddhaya gira, pulakai nichitam vapukada, tavanam agrahane bhavishyati. So Mahaprabhu is asking in 6th verse, Oh my Lord, Nayanam Galadashrudaraya, when will my eyes be decorated with the tears of love flowing constantly? So this is an aspect of perfection of chanting. And simply by chanting the holy names of Lord, tears of ecstasy start gliding down our cheeks. Now we have to be a little careful here. Because there could be some imposters who can imitate these symptoms as well. But we should not blindly think that, okay, this person has uh, attained Bhava Bhakti. We should, it should be genuine. It should be coming out of genuine devotional practice. Anartha Nivruti. So there is this instant where Haridas Thakur was just passing by on a street. And um, uh, uh, those times in India, it was not very uncommon to see snake charmers. So there was this snake charmer who was very expertly playing this specific instrument using which he was charming the snake. And as he was uh, charming the snake, they were also singing Krishna's Kaliya Leela because there was the snake involved. And as Haridas Thakur was passing by and as he heard this pastime of Krishna's Kaliya Leela, he just went into ecstasy. And out of his ecstatic symptom, he just fell unconscious on the ground. And everybody gathered around him and they started glorifying Haridas Thakur's elevated stage of Krishna Bhakti. And then they got some water and they brought him back to consciousness. And immediately Haridas Thakur understood what was going on. And because devotees don't want to uh, draw any attention to themselves, so he immediately came uh, back to normalcy and then he just passed by, passed off. But there was another man in this gathering who was closely observing what was going on and he thought the kind of praise and the kind of attention that Harida Thakur was able to garner. So the next time the snake charmer was doing the same thing, this imposter, this man, he also imitated the same thing. He also acted like as though he fell unconscious. But this time around, people got some sticks and rocks and started beating him like anything. And this man just got up and he said, what is this? When Haridas Thakur did it, all of you were praising him. And now when I do it, you're all beating me. So the people told him that is because what he has is genuine love of God, Krishna Bhakti. And what you are doing is it's just a mere imitation. He was just an imposter. So some people uh, very easily, they can, uh, you know, out of ecstasy, they can cry. But that doesn't mean that they've already attained Bhava Bhakti. And uh, some people naturally, they have moist eyes. So we should not mistake these things to be Bhava Bhakti. We should be very careful. So what's the next symptom? Vadanam gira. When will my voice choke up? So the perfection of chanting is the phase where we will not be able to chant because our voice is choking up. So once Prabhupada was leading um, uh, Jai Radha Madhava in a temple gathering uh, filled with so many wonderful uh, disciples of his. And after a while, Prabhupada just went into ecstasy. 
and devotees noticed that uh, there were drops of tears gliding down his cheeks like pearls and Prabhupada was so ecstatic he simply his voice choked up he could not continue singing and everybody just went completely pin drop silence and when Prabhupada came out of his ecstasy uh, <clears throat> he just told his disciples just please continue chanting so this is another symptom voice choking up Pulakai nichitam vapukada, head standing on end. Tavanam agrahane bhavishyati. So Mahaprabhu is eagerly asking, when will, I, when will I experience these symptoms by namagrahane, by taking your holy names on my tongue? And continuing further, in the seventh verse, Bhava Bhakti is elaborated furthermore. Yugayitam nimeshena. Oh, first we'll chant the verse and then we'll explain. Yugayitam nimeshena chakshusha pravrusha itam shunya itam jagat sarvam govinda virahename. <clears throat> so, what's the other symptom? Yugayitam nimeshena. To feel that just a moment, nimesha, is like a yuga. Now, yuga could mean age, like Satya yuga, Dwapar yuga, Treta yuga, Kali yuga. It could also mean 12 years or more. So, uh, regardless of which meaning we imply here, it is to think just a moment is a long time, 12 years or more. So, this is a symptom of love. So, we don't necessarily feel the separation of somebody if we don't love them. Like if somebody came and said, okay, I'm taking leave. If we don't love them, it's like, all right, you know, I'll see you later. But if it is somebody you love, you feel so much of separation, you will insist that please stay back for a few more days. You know, when are you coming back? Oh, don't stay back. Uh, don't stay away for so long. Please come back quickly. So this mood of separation is an indication of love. Where there is love, there is separation. And that separation becomes so intense. You know, just like the gopis. It was such intense, extreme level of separation that they were feeling for, uh, for Krishna, from Krishna. So, Yugayitam Nimeshena, to feel that a moment is like 12 years or more. Like it is said, distance makes the heart grow fonder. But for that, there should be the presence of love. Chakshusha Pravrushayitam, again, gliding of tears down the cheeks. Shunyayitam jagat sarvam. So when one is experiencing bhava bhakti, one feels that the entire world is void. Shunyayitam, it is all zero. Prabhupada used to say this uh, quite a few times that all our so called material assets are just like strings of zero, just a series of zeros. Now, what is the value of zero? No matter how many zeros you have, ultimately it is zero only. <clears throat> but the value of these zeros is when you add one before these zeros, then it has some meaning. So what is that one? That one is Krishna. So when there is Krishna, then there is some meaning to all these things. But if there is no Krishna, then it is just a bunch of zeros. Jagat Sarvam. So this is another symptom of Bhava Bhakti stage where a devotee feels that everything is void without Krishna. Govinda virahe name. This is what they're experiencing in the separation of the Lord. Now you and I may be thinking, well, I am not at this stage. So how can I speed in the process, accelerate the process to get here? So for that, in Chaitanya Charitamrita, Madhya Leela, Chapter 80, Shloka 70, there is this wonderful shloka which gives us the uh, trick, the formula to intensify how to go from sadhana to sadhya. Krishna bhakti rasabhavita madihi kriyatam yadi kutopi labhyate tatra laulyam api mulyam ekalam janma koti sukrita irna labhyate Krishna bhakti rasabhavita madihi this prema bhakti, bhava bhakti, krishna bhakti, rasabhavita matihi, the pure devotional service in Krishna consciousness, janma koti sukrutai na labhyate. We cannot get it 
even koti janma crores of lifetimes if we keep on accumulating piety sukruti then what is the way how do we get it kriyatam yadi kutopi labhyate hey purchase it if it is available somewhere ho oh, but what is the price i have to pay to purchase it tatra laulyam api mulyam ekalam what is the mulya what is the currency that you have to have to purchase this thing called love of god laulyam greed so if we have this spiritual greed this tivrena bhakti yogena this intense desire okay i am not at the stage of bhava bhakti right now but always keeping sadhya in mind when will i get there when will i get that how can i improve my quality of chanting how can i improve my a uh, quantity of chanting how can i adjust my life in such a way that uh, it facilitates my chanting so if we can constantly meditate like this with greed and how can we get this greed from other greedy devotees just like if you have greed for money then you will start associating with other money minded people where can you invest what can you do how can you save more money so similarly how can you get this spiritual greed this is infectious so you associate sadhu sangha with greedy devotees devotees who are also very serious and sincere on the path of bhakti who are also constantly striving to improve their devotional life so from them this is infectious we can get that greed and with this laulya with this intense desire sadhana is that thing which is performed keeping sadhya in mind so every time we chant we have to keep meditating like on bhava on all these symptoms how will it be when we have tears down you know uh, <clears throat> tears decorate our eyes decorated with tears hair standing on end voice choking up feeling that intense separation from the lord so we have to meditate on the sadhya as we keep performing sadhana in fact in uh, international society for krishna consciousness in iskon the wonderful organization created by uh, uh, shrila prabhupada everything that is there whether it is prasadam whether it is the association of the devotees whether it is the study of scriptures like bhagavad gita bhagavatam chaitanya charitamrita and many other wonderful scriptures whatever it is it is all to facilitate one thing to facilitate the quality and quantity of chanting of hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare if we are studying the scriptures but if we are not really uh, increasing our attachment and love and chanting then something is not right if we are honoring prasadam but some we are not really uh, improving our chanting something is not right we are associating with devotees but it's not really facilitating our quality quantity of chanting something is not right so this whole setup prabhupad has created is so we can nicely chant uh, the holy names of the lord and by doing so with greed with that laulyam with that intense desire when will i get to sadhya by the mercy of chaitanya mahaprabhu and shrila prabhupad one day definitely we will so i will see you in the next video so the next part will be the last part where we will cover the last shloka that is about prema bhakti so please do come back please check out the entire playlist which i am leaving the link in the description and also please comment in the section how are you liking this whole series so we will come back in the last part but until then shri chaitanya mahaprabhu ki jai jagat guru shri la prabhupad ki jai hari naam sankirtan ki jai gaur premanande hari hari bol hare krishna click the link below in the description to join aradhana online's official whatsapp group to get access to more such motivational videos inspirational quotes and latest updates thank you